Welcome back everybody to JAK Reptiles. Today we are going to be cutting clutch number four. Now this clutch I have been waiting for for a long time. Um, I'm hoping that my special proves out to be hat for green ghost like mom and uh, hopefully it will be world's first. So I haven't seen yet on World of Ball Pythons any combination for crystal green ghosts lesser crystal green ghosts I should say so um, we're gonna get cutting real soon and also we have a second clutch we're gonna be cutting in this video as well and that's going to be a lesser head albino to a head albino and uh, let's pray that the uh, odd gods are with us so I'm gonna go grab that clutch and let's get going All right, here we go. A special. Yep. Very beautiful. It doesn't look like it has ghost in it at all either, does it? No. no. But a very pretty special. Look at that. The vessels just peeled right away from the egg. They are so close to coming out. I bet you they would have pipped tomorrow. What do I have? Oh my god. What do I have? That That's a pa paradox? Is a crystal, I would say a crystal paradox. Wow. Do you think that has anything to do with Green Ghost in it? Uh, couldn't tell. But it's a partial head, too. Yeah? Can yeah. I see? I'm just going to try to... Can you bring your face up here for everybody to see? I'm going to take some paper towel and get rid of this little dot. Oh, look at the beautiful blue eye. And it goes and hides its face so we can't get the full view. Oh. <laughs> wow. The weird part is it looks like a blue eyed Lucy. I know it does. Paradox. I know. That's amazing. I don't see any pattern on the side. Yes, one right there. See? No, besides the paradoxing. Oh yeah, no, we're going to have to black light this one because there's a little bit on the tail too. See that little tip right mm. there? Definitely got to get the black light out for that little one. But yeah, that looks weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Let's close this up for now so that we don't disturb it too much with the light that we got shining on it. Okay, my turn. Let's see what I'm going to get. <laughs> I'd like to get one of those ones.
Aww. I think. That is a really dark special. I don't know. Maybe that's a ghost. I don't see ghost. Blacks are too black. Yeah, but it's orange like <clears throat> one. It's true, the blacks are not dull enough, but. No, it was a very dark. Color wise, special. is the color of a green ghost on the, the orange part of it. I don't know. I don't know. It's very different from this one. And to me, that doesn't scream special. I hope we get more than one that's in the blue-eyed complex. Out of six eggs, it'd be nice to at least see two. That one is one of the ones we'll have to wait to see come out of the egg. <laughs> Definitely got some interesting markings. What's that right there? Is that him or the egg? It's him. He's got white. Yes. A huge white spot. Yes. Oh, is that just from his belly or is that on the side? <clears throat> that's from his side. Up. Okay. Then chances are that's another special. Definitely some interesting looking specials, huh? Yeah. Well, our special <clears throat> was a interesting looking dad. <laughs> Not only that, though. Remember, Mom is so light. You swear she had uh, Platy Daddy in her. But it's unproven, so you know, something to tinker with. Some of these almost look hat Russo. You know that, right? Which is weird. Okay. Oops. That's special That's again. Another one. Well, we have one egg left and one more chance at a blue eyed Lucy complex. And no visual signs of green ghost, I don't think. So, chances are our baby might not have gotten it from his mom. And it's back to the drawing board. That one is so different. Oh, you got the other one, too. <laughs> oh. That's a blue-eyed Lucy. Here. I'll dab it. Well, what did you put in with this female? just him this year. Just a special, so that's yeah. not a blue-eyed Lucy, it's a crystal. Well, last year was the Mojave. Is it Unless she stuck? Is it twins? There seems to be an awful lot of snake in there.
like check out the corner here. I There's... think you got twins. No way. No way. <laughs> I think maybe two. That's an awful lot of snake in there. It would be cool, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. I don't know. I think it might be just one. That is... Oh, that's one. Very big one. That's... I don't understand. That is too much snake. Wow. Could be a very healthy big one. Definitely going to wait for that one, too. So, all right. Well, that's our cutting for this video, or for this clutch. I'm going to put this thing on pause, be right back with our next clutch. Okay, so here's our next clutch. Um, lesser head albino times a head albino. I am really hoping for some odds on this one. We got a little hole there. Pretty sure that's normal. <laughs> and these guys are approximately 56 days. And I can feel the snakes through the eggs, so we are ready to take a peek. We have a lesser. A lesser poss head albino. Possible head albino. Very, very pretty one too. Not a little normal. Okay, let's try this one. Another lesser. Mm -hmm. Pause head. Not so good so far with these odds. Well, technically, this right here would be the odds. Because the hat to hat being one one and four. Okay, well then, cut me an albino. We got another lesser. Hmm. And those two look different than that one. I would assume that one probably is holding the hat. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
vein is right there in the very corner where the scissors went in. And a normal. I'm beginning to think that female's not hat. Oh, last chance. Another lesser. Yep. Hmm. And this one's a little more brown, a little lighter. Well, I think one of them is not head albino. But we paired. The lesser head albino to a uh, female het snow that I have. So if she goes, we'll be able to prove whether or not he has the hat in him or doesn't. And we'll, then we'll figure out whether or not we just missed the odds or mom doesn't have it in her. Some nice lessers though. Anyways, so that's our clutch. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in another week for the updates on them after they've shed, as well as my biggest clutch I'm waiting for to cut and that is the Spotnose Pastel Scimitar.